craft onto your uh, computer and how to port forward and all that so what you do come over to multicraft.org pricing this you can pick whatever one you want uh, dynamic you get unlimited service unlimited players at 295 a month so that's like 310 US or 503 Canadian and that or you can come over here 990 for 2 up to 4990 for 10 if you do plan on hosting, they have all of this great stuff here. Uh, you will need to buy, if you do, you would need to buy a license for both of these. Just because that's how it works. I didn't know that at first. Uh, then once you pick it, I'm just going to head over to Gmail. <coughs> just so I can get my license key ready. So then what you do, open up your folder that you have it, double click, it will open it up. Next, uh, I accept this just license agreement, crap, uh, choose where you want to install it, uh, yes, next, uh, pick any password you want to use, just remember to write it down wherever. I'm just moving that over to the other page so then you guys cannot steal a license key. I'm not trying to be rude. Next, then it will bring it up. Uh, start menu, yes, yes, install. Now this will install everything that you would need. Just gotta install everything here. Almost there. Getting so close. Uh, it is just initializing the daemon database, panel database, and all this. I am just taking off my hoodie. <laughs> uh, then this will finish up. To open up your multicraft, it just opened up in the other window here. So. It will open up this guy. guy. Uh, allow, allow. Type in your credentials to it. So since I already have servers, I'm just gonna do it this way. So server settings. I'm just gonna name this listed. Sure. Uh, this you can pick however many slots you want. Uh, IP. You can leave that blank port. You can do 25565. Five, Memory, let's say 5200. Jar file, we don't have any jar files installed right now. Owner selectable. Show advanced, you can literally keep all of this blank. Auto start, yes. Owner managed FTP, yes, yes. Um, I 
this just helps uh, you since you are basically owning the server uh, you can start it up as you can tell it's just 0, 0, 0. 0.0.0 that's okay this is what it listens on come over to console it will say that you need to come over here minecraft eula enabled save now once you have that saved it will start up the server uh, then once all that loads up you can come over let's say settings update minecraft and I'm a fan of paper so let's go to papermc.io slash downloads to right click this and copy link address and then what you're going to do is you are going to hit add or remove jar file name let's do paper file URL like that and then you hit add so then that means that every time you come to your servers so then as you can see this is all started up so then you can stop it come back it will have all of this so then all you do is type in paper but or paper.jar whatever you prefer and then that will save except this here as well cuz you know why not and then start the server back up again Of course you're unable to get it okay so let's try this again so settings uh, update add um, let's do paper what version of this 35 paper 35 file URL paste it add let's try this So then hit enter. Let's see if this changed anything. So it will start it, load server properties, download a vanilla, patching, basically all of this fun stuff. Uh, it will say this. You can ignore this. It really doesn't do anything. So then it should open up open it up here soon after spawn area this is the part that takes forever so while we are waiting let's come over to minecraft launcher and then you just want to open it up on whatever version you're running we are doing this on we go it is opening up Minecraft now so multiplayer add server just go ahead and type in localhost coming to the bottom it will be the bottom one encrypt and join in this just confirms that the server has indeed worked so just like this of course you have no command so you can come back over here op night shadow 696 and then you have access to that 
plugins. We have no plugins installed right now. So then like that, you are an op. You can op whoever you would like. And hey, look, we spawned in a village. How cool. <laughs> so then once that's done, I'm just going to close out Minecraft. So then you can come back. Let's go ahead and stop the server again. Um, then you want to come into your FTP, create, and just type in your regular password that you used for to create it. Come over to plugins, upload. Let's do... Let's see. Let's install Playtimes, Vault, and Essentials, I believe it is. Okay, okay, okay. I know that this is a dot .zip. Crap. <laughs> so, then what we do is come here, crap. Um, I think I have it actually. Yes, I do. So upload, choose a uh, desktop. Let's do Essentials X and Anti Build and Chat. Actually, let's just install all of them. And then spawn, submit. Then you can come back here, delete the dot .zip because we don't need that. And then as you can see, it has all of this come back to the servers, click, and then start. Just to, you know, make sure everything loads up nice. And as we can see, you can ignore this, it just doesn't specify an API version that's okay it still does work it vault is loaded playtimes is loaded essentials and all that have loaded up GOIP we don't you don't necessarily need GOIP user data that's okay because it's empty this it still does work just because Essentials X hasn't been updated yet. And like that, all everything is enabled. So then, next thing you do, type in command prompt, then type in IP config. And then, as you can see, your IPv4, it will be different than mine. Mine's 10.0.0.143. So then, for this, you're going to want to type in this. It will be right under default gateway for some people. Minimize this. You can close paper IO. Sign in. I am using SHA, so it is going to be a lot different than yours. So I'm just going to delete this. So most of the time your port forwarding is going to be disabled you won't be able to add what you want to do enable it add service let's just type in twisted you want to keep this as tcp slash udp type in 10.0.0143 10 and then server ipv6 address you are going to want to type in 
this oh this one right here so 960 f 4 a e dash e f 10 dash 51 c d and then you're going to add as well a i mean 8 a b 3 start port we ran this at 25565 we did so then all you do is type in 25565 25565 and then you hit save and then you can also type in I'm going to put this one, can you see me dot org 25565. And as you can see, it is now open. And then to get find your IP to use to post it on like Planet Minecraft or give it to your friends. Where is it? Where are you? That's weird. So then this will load up, so it says not detected for some reason, but here we can see that it is 24.66.32.143. So then you can come over to, let's say, Planet Minecraft. What is this? No notifications, weird. So then come over to servers submissions uh, server then type in I totally forgot it so then you come back over here you can copy this type it right here verify ownership basically doing this verifies that it is open because if you were to put 10 crap <laughs> here let's refresh this quick because if you were to put 10.0.0.143 it's going to test 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 and it will fail so then that's how you know that you cannot connect like nobody else can connect to it except for you and <coughs> That's about it. If you can also come back over here, you can suspend your server. You can delete it. So just like this. Then you can come to servers. No servers here. Create. Servers, create. Just like this, you can honestly create as many servers if you, as you would like. If you do plan on having a hosting company, it would work perfectly out for you. Um, one more thing I was going to show you. Definitely not here. If y'all want a great Minecraft server to join up in, I got one for you y'all won't be disappointed if it wants to open up here we go Come on over to multiplayer and join in on our server play.twistednetwork.co then the colon 25568. Y'all won't be disappointed, trust me. Right now, we are currently building the PvP arena. Got a wicked spawn here. with some bees, some birds, a little bit of everything. 
then we do have a great event. It is called on Envoy, Envoy, whatever the hell you want to call it. Basically here, it just spawns in crates that you can walk around like here. Right click it, it adds money to your account. You can get golden apples. Let's see if we can find a great chest. And when you are close to them, it sets off a firework. For example, there's a couple here. So 10 grand, 1,000, Titan Sword. I feel like there is more. So then here is also one. Some more golden apples. They're, they are literally hidden all around in this area. And another titan sword. Uh, they are getting changed. We are in the semi observer so even when you join in. You receive sharpness wand, protection wand. That's just starter stuff. So then if you come over to iron, you get efficiency wand, uh, sharpness to all that stuff. But if you were to donate and get Nexus, you have Sharpness 6. But at the same time, DC ranks, ranks. If you were to get Warlock. Oh crap, what did I change that to? So Kit Knight. That gives you, that is not, definitely not the one maybe. ranks, baron, knight, tradesman, mystic. So then, pretty sure it is kit blaze. What is that? Who did that? Oh my god. That's not it. Trade? Maybe? Possibly. But we have all these great ranks, great staff. Um, what else can, what else do we have? Oh, we don't have that, sadly. We have amazing villages around. 1.15 brand new map. So you can literally come wherever you want around here. 